Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to the watch list for Thursday, July 19th. I send these watch lists out to you guys, for you guys, for free, every single day. This strategy that we teach on this channel, guys, is by far the easiest strategy you will ever find. We don't use indicators like RSI, MACD, EMA crossing lines. All we use are the candlesticks. Now, we do use some sense of an indicator with this time frame, uh, the candlestick numbers, but nothing where you have to look for lines that are crossing or anything like that. We strictly use what the candlesticks are telling us to do. In this video at the very end, I'm going to walk you guys through uh, a really good trade. I didn't take it, but a really good trade that you could have taken on SPY. I know a lot of people uh, took it in the Discord room that I've got, the Griswold Trading Discord. That link is in the description below. A lot of people took this trade. And there's a, a girl in that room. Uh, I believe her name is Lady Hawk, or her handle is Lady Hawk. Um, she was asking and saying she was unsure about where she would have put her stop losses. She's fairly new to the strat, so I told her that I would review that in this video, but we'll do it at the very end. So if you guys want to see that, stick around till the end. I'll go through that spy video with you, or the spy trade with you guys. It was off of the 30 minute chart. I know some people took it off of the 15. But I'll show you guys how you could have got in it. And I'll show you a special secret that I use in a lot of my trades a lot of the time. Not part of the strat, but it's a little trick that I like to use. So we'll show you that at the end of the, excuse me, at the end of the video as well. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can follow me there. If you are new to day trading and you don't have a setup like this, guys, this is TradingView. So if you want something like this, I have a link in the description below. That will give you a free, no obligation, 30-day trial to TradingView. So you can click on that link, get your free 30 days, and then if you decide to use their subscription-based services, you get up to $30 off of that subscription. So make sure you guys are taking advantage of that free offer down below. Uh, the link to my Discord is also down below. Everything that I offer for you guys, free or fee-based, is in that Discord. So I do have, it is free to join that Discord, but there is a paid member portion, um, and that paid member portion gives you a one-hour course on this strategy and how to use it. Uh, gives you live trading bots so you guys don't have to go searching for the trades the bots send you the trades on tickers like qqq uh, neo tesla uh, spy i think disney's on there ccl a whole bunch of other ones and then if you are part of that group and you want uh, tickers added i will add them for you guys uh, but there's that uh, there's the strat indicator that i've created for you guys it's all the indicators that the strat uses all wrapped into one so this time frame continuity these candlestick numbers uh, the markers of the 3-1 setups, colored inside bars and outside bars, and a bunch of other great stuff. But that's all listed in the Discord for you guys, so you can go check that out. Uh, you can buy the, the indicator separately. Uh, that link is in the description below as well. Uh, and it's a one-time fee. It gives you the indicator for life. Okay, so let's go through this list. Uh, we'll start off with uh, General Motors, GM. And a lot of the plays today is what you actually are seeing on GM where we had this two up and it finished red. So I call that a failed two, okay? So you'll hear that term and a lot of people get confused about it. The way I look at it is a, fa a two up is when this candle only breaks the high of the previous candle. So we only broke the high of this previous candle right here, this green one. We didn't break the low, we only broke the high. So it is a two candle, it's a directional candle and it's up, but it finished red. So when we have that, I call it a failed two. And just like if we had a two down, uh, like this one that finished green, we would call that a failed two. Okay, so that's that's what I look for uh, when I look for reversals. And here's the thing, guys. In order to find a reversal, this candle doesn't have to be, like a reversal to the downside, this candle doesn't have to be red. We could have a two up that finished green here, and you could still see a reversal to the downside. But when it's red, it just gives us higher probability that this trade is going to trend to the downside. And, and really guys, when we look at trading and the simplicity of trading, every strategy that you guys will ever come across, whether it's this one, whether it's something else completely different, they're based off of probabilities. And when you realize that a trade is based off of probabilities, there's nothing 100%, and that means when this next candlestick opens on any chart, on, on any time frame, when this candlestick opens, nobody knows what it's gonna do. We don't. And that's, that's what the probability is. The probability tells us that it's going to trend down and hit targets, okay, here and here. 
but that doesn't mean that's what's going to happen. So when it goes against probability, that's where your risk management comes in, okay? And I'll tell you right now, the best traders are the ones who manage their risk the very best, okay? And that, it's true. You can ask any, any good trader has really good risk management. They protect their capital. And it's how well you protect those, those trades that are losing will determine if you're a good trader. You could win two out of six trades. You could win one out of six trades. And you could still be a profitable trader. Because if you are able to, when that trade turns against you, if you're able to cut it for a, a small win, a break even or a small loss, that's all you can ask. And then when those when those winners are going, you let them run. And that's what gives you your profitability. Okay? So GM, I went on a rant there. GM has a two up that finished red. We're gonna look for puts on this thing. We've got time for when I look at trades, guys. I look at this time frame continuity indicator. This is very, very important uh, when we're dealing with this strategy. So if the hourly and the daily are, are red, I'm good for this trade to take this to a downside on a setup. If the weekly is red, that gives me a higher probability. And the more that are in the direction of the trade that I'm taking, the, the more uh, time frames that are in that direction, the higher probability that that trade is gonna work out in our favor. So we have three, I only need the first two, we have three. So we'll look for puts at 36.42, first target at 36.21. And you see this pink line, if I go to the weekly chart, that pink line represents us to go two down on the week. Another failed two, two up, finished red. We're looking to go two down on the week on General Motors. So we'll see if we can hit that uh, on Thursday. We'll move on to GS, it's Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs has an inside bar. So I told you these inside bars or one bars, um, anything that is an inside bar doesn't break the high or the low of the previous candle is what we call a one bar. So it's a consolidating range. It's a tightening range. It's compacting. And when you see these yellow candles, you'll get it with the indicator that I've created, just like you'll get these white outside bars um, and the candlestick numbers and the time frame continuity. But when you see these yellow candles, I want you guys to think of a spring being tightened, compacted, loaded, okay? And when you release that spring, you're looking for it to jump into one direction or the other. You're looking for an explosion off of that energy that's been compacted and consolidating. So we can go back in time and look. And I always tell traders, if you're new or you're struggling, and even myself, I'm not new and I'm not struggling, but I love the inside bars, okay? They're, they're the easiest to spot, they're the easiest to play. Okay, I really, really, uh, when I started trading options, or when I first started getting good at options is because I started trading inside bars. So we look for these big breaks. Now they don't always happen, guys. The probability says, yes, we should trigger here and hit targets. It, it didn't happen, okay? It happened over a two day period, but it didn't happen in the one day time frame. Here's another one, we gapped up. You see that gold bar, that three one, outside bar, inside bar setup? This gold bar is part of the indicator. Here's another one, okay? So inside bar, we triggered and we hit targets plus a little bit more. So that's really what we look for. But then you can see after that, we had a second day where it continued to just run up, okay? So that's what we expect off of those inside bars. Okay, so we can look for calls at 354.79. We can look for puts at 347.80 and we mark our targets. Our targets just go to the highs of the preceding wicks. So here, the next one would be here or the lows of the preceding wicks. So for the puts, it would be here, and then the next one would be here, and the next one would be here. And we're gonna go over this in the SPY video. We set our triggers and targets on a higher time frame. we manage on a lower time frame. And I'll show you at the end of the video how to do that. Um, and again, guys, if these day trades, if these, these daily chart setups aren't working for you, go down to an hour chart, go down to a 30 minute chart, go down to a 15 minute chart, and mark your triggers and targets off of the setups on those plays. Okay, and then still manage on a smaller time frame. But if these dailies aren't working for you guys, hop down to those smaller time frames. Uh, Morgan Stanley, ticker symbol MS is next. Another inside bar. Uh, so we can look for calls at 97.95 and puts at 96.34. Targets marked out to the top and bottom. And normally, guys, if I mark out this second target, and we can probably even put one more in there. You notice they're not to the bottom side. Now, the reason for that is because you notice there's no candle in between here and here. So that's a gap. So gaps almost always get filled. 
When there's a gap here, they almost always get filled. So in order to fill that, this becomes our first target. Then this becomes our next target. And then your, your next target after that would go again to the bottom, the bottom of the candle. So that's the inside bar on Morgan Stanley. Here's one trended down. We didn't hit targets. Here's another one. We had a nice run up. Another one, we ran up for one, two, three, four straight days. Here's another one. We opened, we triggered, we hit targets, okay? So probability tells us that the majority of the time, the inside bars are a very, very profitable play. But again, it doesn't always happen. So you could be one for six off of inside bars and still be profitable as long as you realize where to cut your trades and you're keeping those losses small. We go back to Wells Fargo now, WFC, time frame continuity to the downside. We'll look for puts at 43.30 and first targets at 43.18. And again, this is that 2-2 reversal that we're looking for. Some of you might ask, is this a shooter candle? Not quite. You, this wick, realistic, they has to be two times the size of this body. So we're not quite there. So either the wick has to be way longer or the body has to be a little smaller in order for that to be a true shooter candle. But it does look like a shooter. Uh, we'll move on to American Airlines. Uh, American Airlines has this outside bar, and normally I don't play off of outside bars. It's nothing saying you can't. I just normally don't. But we've tapped the top of this broadening formation, and I have videos on broadening formations. You guys can check those out. It's one of the last things I would suggest you guys look at. Um, it's more of an advanced thing, and it's very subjective. Um, it's the most subjective thing with the strat. Everything else is pretty clear. Uh, and most people will tell you they have problems with the broadening formations. Um, so if you're new, I would save that till the end. But I'm going to show you guys here. We go low to a high to a low to a high back to these lows. And we've gone all the way back up to the top. We've tagged it. So now we either have a continuation or we're going to come back down off of that broadening formation. We have a gap to fill right here. So look for that on American Airlines. We can look for puts at $16 and 60 cents. And this first target is a really good uh, magnitude. It's 59 cents from here to here. That's a good range for us to hit. I like to see the big gaps there. Uh, it gives us room for profit rather than when we have a tight little, tight little spot between the trigger and the target. Uh, next up, we go to Bed Bath & Beyond. Two up, finished red, failed two. We're going to look for puts at 372, first target at 335. NVAX, two up red. This is what you would call a shooter candle, guys. It's an actionable signal. We have this body. We're more than two times the size of the body, the wicks are. So we can look for puts at 1233, first targets at 1181. And this is what we call a 122 rev strat. Now, I have videos on this as well, but it's basically a 2 2 reversal with an inside bar preceding everything. So a one, two up, two down rev strat on NBAX. We move on to Apple, same thing, two up, finished red. So we'll look for puts at 135.03. Uh, First target's at 134.13. Airbnb, two up red. We can call that a shooter candle. Puts at $100.32. Uh, AFRM. Again, two up red. I told you we would see a lot of these setups. Very, very similar. So puts at $12.90. There's our first target at $12.55. Two up red on AMC. Calls at five, sorry, puts at $5.46. First target's at $5.06. You're wondering where I'm getting these numbers from? If you look to the right side here, this yellow line, $5.46. Okay, these green lines, $5.06. Next target, $4.77. We'll move on to Datadog, also a two up red. This thing has full time frame continuity to the downside. So we'll look for puts at 69.70, or sorry, 69.62. And then we can mark out the first targets together on Datadog at 68.80. EW, Edwards Life Sciences, another two up, finished red, puts at 78.15. GME, two up red. We'll look for the puts at $20.50. Targets marked out for you guys. The Google machine, two up red. We'll look for puts at 91.40 on Google. I'm going to zoom in here. Lulu, so Lulu has higher premiums. They're for larger accounts. Um, again, two up red. We'll look for the puts at 317.17 and first targets at 312, 313.15. Lift, two up red again. 
Puts at 14.14, first target at 14.03. We can move into Macy's. Here's a shooter candle, two up red. Puts at $22.98. There's your first target. Uh, I'm going to do something here, guys. These blue lines here and these purple lines, those are part of the indicators. I'm going to show you if we go into settings. And look, the Sarah Strat sniper rule. So we can show the previous day's 50% line, the previous week's 50% line, and the previous month's 50% line. That's also part of the indicator for you guys. So two up red, shooter candle on Moderna. We'll look for puts at 195.02, first target at 187.64. NVIDIA, two up red, so we can look for puts here at 172.82. Palantir, two up red, uh, puts on this one at 688. Targets marked out for you guys. Plug power, two up red, shooter candle. These are actionable signals, these shooter candles. These hammer candles that you see here, also an actionable signal. These inside bars, also an actionable signal. Now, if this is a two up and it's green and still a shooter, it's still an actionable signal to the downside, but it's less likely that it continues that way. This red candle with the shooter is, is a higher probability trade, okay? So that's plug power. Uh, we move on to Roku. Two up red for Roku. Has had a nice run to start the year. Puts at $50, $49.86. SE, that's C Limited. Two up red again. Also has had a nice little run here. Uh, puts at $61.07. Shop, that's Shopify. Uh, again, two up, finish red. We're looking for reversals all day tomorrow. Um, and this one's... Uh, put at $39.10. And I will, will tell you guys, if this stuff is helping you guys out, uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the bell. The bell sends you the notifications when I send out the daily videos like this one, when I send out the learning tool videos, when I send out anything, you'll get the notifications. So SoFi has this inside bar, and we're going to look for that explosion that we talked about earlier off of this. So calls at 570, puts at 548. If we trend to the upside, that gives us full time frame continuity right across the board. Tesla, two up red. So we can look for puts on Tesla at 127.01. Okay, guys, here's what I promised you. I, I promised you that we would go through that SPY uh, setup that I talked about. We're going to go through it now. So we'll hop over to the 30-minute chart, and I've pre-marked this out for you guys. So this is what we were looking at on the reversal. So this is the setup right here. Uh, this was the first bar of the day, first 30 minute bar, second 30 minute bar. You could have taken this trade, okay? So we would have gone 2-2 uh, continuation to the upside. You could have taken it. A lot of people don't like to play the 2-2s, two but you could have taken it. And if you did, your trigger would have been here and you would have hit target one and that's it. That's all you would have got. You wouldn't have got anything else in that, and you shouldn't have been out of the trade. This is the trade right here. So we had a two up that finished red. There's that failed two that we talked about throughout the whole video. But this time it's on the 30-minute chart. So what do we do? We mark out our triggers, and then we mark out our targets. Okay, so there's a target here that's not marked out. There's this gap fill. Then there's this target. Then there's a target here. Then there's a target here. And we could mark targets all the way down. Here's another one right here. Okay, we can mark targets all the way down. We'll put one in here for good measure right here. And I'll mark out one more for you guys. Um, let's say right there, okay? So let's go and do a replay of this trade. So if I go to our replay, and I say we go to the replay here. Okay, so there's the trade. We have that two up that finished red. Now you're watching this and you're saying, there we go. There is our setup. It's a two up. It finished red. If, so because this is the first 30 minute bar right here. Okay, so we opened here and we closed here. So because we opened here, anything below this point right here on this green candle will be red on the day. Okay. Anything, this is now, and I have the time frame continuity video, guys, go watch it if you don't understand this stuff. This, these two candlesticks represent one hour. They're 30 minutes each. Once we cross 
um, the bottom of this, that puts our, or sorry, right here, that puts our trade into a, a red situation, or sorry, here. Once we pass here, like I said originally, I'll just move this. Once we pass right there, that puts us two down red on the hour. That makes this hourly candle red, okay? So now that we've got our triggers and our target set on the 30, I hop down to the five minute chart. You can use the 10, you can use the five. I don't care what you use, but hop down to a smaller time frame. The smaller time frame you use, the less risk you inherit because you get out of that trade sooner before it goes against you. Okay, so here is that here is that trigger that we're looking for, okay? So if we fast forward, we're gonna move through this. We haven't broke the trigger yet. There, we broke the trigger and we hit one target, okay? Now we go to the next one. So what, there's a few things you could do here, guys. This is, now this is for Lady Hawk and whoever else wants to watch this. And I'm gonna do one one other thing here. I'm gonna add, this is, this is the secret sauce here that I use every once in a while. So we triggered and we hit targets. Now we come back through that target, but usually I will use this five minute bar right here as my stop loss. So either the, let the candlestick stop you out. This is what I always tell you guys. Let the candlestick stop you out or let the targets stop you out. Okay, so that is our current, that would have been our stop loss off of this candle. So when this candle opens, as long as we don't pass through here, I'll stay in that trade because from here to here is not a big, it's not a huge loss, okay? So we take this trade and if you want, guys, once this candle passes through this target, this first target, you could be out of that trade, that's fine. Okay, and it's a winning trade for you. But I like to use this, this five minute, first five minute candle that triggers, that's, that's just me. Okay, so what happens now? Now we have an inside bar. So what can you do? There's two things. We can put your stop loss at the top of this candle or at this target that we just went through. Okay, now we go through again. So now we just move our stop loss down, okay, to there. And now this candle is opened and closed. Okay, so you can put your stop loss here, or you can use this target right here, or this yellow is also a target right here. Now what happens? Now we go through. So if, again, if you're using the candles, you're still in this trade. If you're using the targets, you're out of this trade. And again, that's fine, guys. This is a fantastic trade. Okay, it's perfect. And that's what I mean. When I go down to the five-minute chart, it reduces my risk, but I don't always get the most out of the play. Now, you can go to a 15 minute chart and try and get more out of the play, but it if it goes against you, these 15 minute candles are much larger, so you're gonna lose a lot less and you're gonna take home a lot less um, if, you, if you end up losing on the trade. So we go to the next candle, okay? So there's the reversal. So most people, at the very least, should have got right here, okay? If you're following your candlestick rules and you're letting the candlestick stop you out, this was your first sign of a reversal. That should have been your first spot out. This is what I tell people. This blue line is the nine EMA. It's a moving average, nine day moving average. Usually when I get this far into a trade, guys, because from here to here, depending on your strike, depending on your expiry, 398, to 397, that's a dollar 50 cent move. You're, and you can comment down below if you took this trade, but you're probably somewhere in that 50 to 60% range. You know, might be a little less, might be more. But when I'm up 60% in a trade, now I start, I can start following this little blue EMA line. Okay. And what this does, I wait for, and because we're trending down, I wait for a close above this blue nine EMA. And it doesn't always work, but it works out really well a lot of the time. Okay, so we're just gonna go to the next candle. If you would have used this nine EMA, you would have gained that much more, okay? And then we go to the next candle. There you go. 
It just it continues to drop. This was a really, really great trade on SPY if you could have taken it. Okay, and you can follow all these rules continuing down if you want. You can use the targets as stop losses. But again, when you use that 9 EMA, watch how much more room you get. From here, where our original stop loss was at 397, now we have an inside bar. Uh, sorry, it was an inside bar, but it ended up going two down. We're still following, we're trending down on that 9 EMA line. Okay, we're nowhere near out of this trade. And then right in here, 9.30 to 10.30, 11.30, we're coming into the noon hour on the East Coast. So you're going to start to see a little bit of chop here. Okay. Um, and that's just what happens in the lunch hour. So now we're at 12.10 Eastern and we're still chopping around. We still haven't, we broke the top of the 9 EMA here, but we did not close above it. We still haven't closed above it. We still haven't closed above it. We still haven't closed above it. So, guys, this trade, I, again, I'm guessing here on a number, but you're probably on this trade. If you stayed in it, you're probably four or five hundred percent on this trade. There's another inside bar to go two down, and then we have a two up here, and we still continue just to trend, trend, trend. Now you could sell. I, to be honest with you guys. Once we start getting into this chop here, I'm probably out of the trade. I'm not going to stick around in this and, and watch all this chop happen. But you could have stayed in it, gained a little bit more. And it's it's crazy how good of a trade realistically this was. And it just continues to drop down to 392.68. And we're going to go through and there, right here. This bar closes above and you're out at 393.34 from your original entry at 398.57, way up here. Like a $7 move on SPY, guys. $6, $5 move. Like I said, you're looking at a 4 or 500% trade. So hopefully that helps you guys in, in learning where to take your stops. Now, again, I use this 9 EMA. You guys don't have to. I find it really helps me out when I'm deep into a trade. When I've got those 60, 70, 80% already, it it helps out with that. Now, again, this was a really, really great trade. They don't all happen like this. Otherwise, guys, use, use what the candlesticks are telling you to do, okay? Or the targets. Stop out on the targets. Stop out on the candlesticks, okay? That, that's what I would do. That's, that's, that is what I do. Okay, I use the candlesticks to stop me out, or I use like we did here. Okay, and that's still a really fantastic trade. Okay, you shouldn't be disappointed with a trade like that. It's it's a really really great trade. Or you let the target stop you out, or we come through this target, and then once we reverse back through, you just take your profit. Okay, this might have been a you know a ten percent fifteen percent trade, which is still really really great. Okay. So that's how you do it, guys. Make sure you subscribe down below so you can follow me, so you can learn this stuff. It will change the way that you guys trade. I promise you that. Get Take advantage of the free uh, 30 days on TradingView and get in on that Discord. Let's learn and earn together. And let me teach you guys. You guys have questions? You can ask them on Twitter. You can ask them in the comment section. You can ask them in the Discord. I will help you guys out. Okay? Good luck trading on Thursday, guys. I wish you nothing but the best. I wish you green. And we will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.